First of all, I think we got to show the tweet, Kurt, that started it all. You were being a proud papa. Here it is. Congrats to Gabby Schilling, who will pitch to, for the Salve Regina Seahawks next year. Seems innocuous enough but, enough, but then came all the vitriol. Were you surprised by that, Kurt? Uh, I, no, I expected some, some blowback. Um, number one, because I'm New England, it was the Seahawks, so, uh, you know, after the Super Bowl. Um, but but uh, I expected college kids to be college kids and to sure. come back and say some smart aleck things, and, and they did. Um, and then I tweeted out something about, you know, hey, guys, not for nothing, but, you know, I know somebody in the Special Forces, and, it, you know, we kind of <laughs> joked back and forth, and then it got, it got serious, and they, we started to get the, I started to get the, the stuff that, that you've, you've seen. Now, you always had a reputation of being hard-nosed on the diamond and off, a tough guy. What did this do to you? I'm sure you can take heat about yourself. But when they were targeting your daughter, and as you know, she's all grown up now, but not to you she isn't, what did it mean to you? Well, the, the blog that I came out with was about uh, the 57,000th edit, because the first one was, you know, I'm going to get in my car and go somewhere and kill these people. Um, uh, you know, but as a father, I have, I have two jobs. Um, hmm. Put a roof over my family's head and protect them. Yeah. And this was an attack on my family. So, Gabby, let's talk to you, young lady. You've been doing great in school. You've got a great athletic career ahead of you. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, was this something okay. that you anticipated? And did you go to dad and say, dad, I can't believe this is happening? Well, I mean, I expected a few, like, little comments. Nothing, like, as bad as it got. But I didn't really t He was away, so I didn't talk to him until I saw his replies. And people were like, you're on Barstool. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we, we, our first conversation wasn't a very good one. But then. She was mad at me. You have taken these people to task, these kids. And, and, you know, children should take offense by these kids being lumped in with them because I know children behave better than these guys, these knuckleheads did. You've taken them to task. Some of them have lost their job. Some of them have been kicked out of school. What ultimately did you want them to understand? Well, I, 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 listen, the only analogy that, that comes to mind that I can, I can use is, you know, if you're, if you're a parent, imagine somebody coming into your house and punching your child mm. in the face right in front of you. Um, because the, if, when you think about that, those scars are going to heal. That physical stuff will go away. She's going to carry this for the rest of her life. So the lesson is, uh, you know, accountability. Mm. The, I, the, the anonymity of the Internet really doesn't exist. Um, there are a few people in this world that can do it. But not many. And this, listen, if you're a parent, you know, Twitter is not uh, some other world. You know, I saw no. people talking about, you know, hey, they did it on Twitter and then they got it in the real world. Mm. And, and Twitter is the real world. And if you're, if you're a parent, you better, you better be able to admit that and understand it. 